How to create a campaign in Aweber. Watch this video till the end to find out how. Hi everyone, Siash here and in this episode I'm going to show you and walk you through creating a brand new campaign inside your autoresponder and in this case it's in Aweber. For those of you that are not sure what the campaign means, campaign is basically a series of email that you send to your subscribers once uh, they've either subscribed or uh, some other actions have been actually happened. So for example, if they click on a specific email, you can actually uh, trigger an action and send them to go through a specific campaign. For example, if they click on something that causes a sale or another for example if they click on a link that causes a sale then you can send them to a different campaign that receive the sales emails for the purpose of this video i'm going to show you how you can create a welcome campaign so here um, on, in my aweber dashboard as you can see uh, the ui might be different for you because they've been doing some ui changes if you don't see this section you probably need to click on this and open it up now what you where you want to go is basically messages so if you click on this arrow it opens up and then you want to click on campaigns once the campaign loads you if it's a brand new everybody can you probably don't have any uh, campaign in here you can go ahead on the top right you can click on create campaign so it gives you a couple of options you can create a campaign from blank or you can import a campaign so this is actually uh, helpful if you have someone providing a campaign for you you can import it in here or you can use one of the templates that they have so in this case i'm just going to go ahead and use a blank campaign because i want to show you how you can actually build it from scratch if you want to you can you're more than welcome to use the welcome series campaign so let's click on create a blank campaign the first thing that it asks you is to give your campaign a name so i'm gonna name this my welcome series don't worry you can always change this later so let's go ahead and click on create now it says how do you want to trigger this campaign so you have two options one of them is on subscribe and the other one is tag apply this is the automation that i was talking about so so the first option is basically as soon as someone subscribe to your list they're going to receive this campaign and they're going to be added to this campaign and start receiving the emails that's one option most of the time this is what you are after sometimes you are looking for tag applied so again for example if someone takes a specific action and you tag them that means okay like let's say if someone click on your video link youtube video link then you can tag them as youtube clicker and then you can have a specific campaign for anyone that has that tag been applied to them for the purpose of this video i'm going to just do the unsubscribe so let's go ahead and click on subscribe so as you can see the first action comes in here starts the campaign on subscribe you can always change it by clicking on replace a trigger now i would like you to have a look at the actions that we have so uh, the first action is sending a message the second one is wait and the third one is apply a tag i always would like actually to start my campaigns with tagging so what i do is you can actually drag and drop this in here what i want to do is because this is my welcome campaign i want to have a tag that says that this subscriber has a start the welcome campaign type and hit enter so everyone that comes in here they get tag start welcome campaign now is the messaging so i want to straight away send the message to them drag and drop so we can create a message so i dropped the message in here click on create a message we want to drag and drop email builder message editor that comes up we can say for something like hey and you can give them the name subscriber info first name hey first name so this is a piece of code that is going to get populated automatically so it's going to say hey see ya. uh you are all set and then you can have thanks for being a loyal email subscriber app share or whatever you want thanks for subscribing here is the information that you requested and then you have the link in here and you can highlight click on the chain and put your link in here 
in this case, let's say Google Laptop, something like that. And it gets highlighted, click on save and exit. And here we go. The first email has been set. Now what we want to do is we want to put a wait. We put the wait in here and say, okay, after one day, we want to send another email. And again, in this email, you might want to ask them, how was the information that I've sent to you? Is there any, do you have any questions? Or for example, you can just simply ask them if there's something that they want to know about you. Or because this is a welcome series, it would be actually a good idea to give, uh, give your subscribers, if you're doing affiliate marketing, for example, it would be a really good idea to give your subscriber a little bit of background about yourself and uh, while, while you're doing this, they kind of, uh, it's way better to have like that connection with your subscribers. What I would love for you guys to understand is don't look at your subscriber as just basically an email. They are an actual human being and person. So just talk to them like, like a friend, like someone that you care for them and you're here to solve their uh, problem, not just a simple email address. So that is, that is super important and that's why I always do. And let's say this is our last email and what I do at the end when my campaign is done, I again put another tag in here and I'll let you know why I'm doing these. So I'm putting in, in here and I say finished welcome series or welcome campaign. And that's that. So now the other things that you can do. So for example, I want to talk about a little bit of how you can actually do some automation. Automation. So for example, on your send message, you see, uh, when you click on the send message, it brings up automation. I can click on and add an automation. And then I can tell Aweber, okay, if someone clicks a link, I want to add or remove a tag or even remove subscriber from the campaign. Because for example, maybe that's an action that if you are like sending a campaign for like uh, to promoting product and you want to remove someone as soon as they buy that product by clicking on a link, you can remove them. You can actually add this automation and remove them from here. Or in our case, I want to say, okay, this person has clicked or has watched the promo one for example and then I need to select the link so this is the link if you remember that we added then I click on apply then I can apply and the automation comes in here so now anyone that actually clicked on that link they will get this tag and why this tag is helpful I'm going to show you in a sec so all right now let's go ahead and save this thing so let's say that we save make sure that you come in here once you save you click on draft and you click on activate campaign now the campaign is up and running. All right, now if you come back to the subscriber list, uh, these are um, basically some test subscribers for me and I've added them as you can see. As soon as I've added this person to the list, uh, they started, they got this uh, start welcome campaign. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the email that I've received from my welcome campaign. All right, here I am in my email, and as you can see, that's the first test email that came in here. I'm just gonna click on the link. It's not gonna do anything. It's just basically gonna open up Google. Now, if I go back to my subscribers, and uh, let's refresh this page, and uh, let's open this person again. As you can see, now I got the has watched the promo one automation tag being added. And what you can do, basically, you can search based on tag and say watch the promo, and if you hit search, it brings up your account in here. I'm, I'm sorry, the people that has that tag and then you can save them as a segment. This is a test account and it won't allow me to uh, save a segment. However, once you save a segment, it will come in this section, like the different segments. And what you can do is when you're actually sending a message, for example, when you go to create a broadcast and you want to send the broadcast to this specific segment, you can actually choose those specific segment and send the broadcast to them. So let's say we have decided this to be the segment email, save and exit. And let's say I want to schedule this one. So what I can do, I can click on schedule and you see when should this message be sent? I can say it's going to be automatically sent, right? For example, uh, tomorrow, apply, and then it says, 
who should receive this one i can choose the segment in here once you save once you're able to save the segment you can actually choose the segment in here and then it specifically send it to those people another thing that is a bonus if you've been listening to me and watching this video is you can have specific window of sending the emails inside your campaign i'll show you what i mean by that so if i go back to my campaign and click on one of the weights so this weight i want to send it after one day but i only wanted to for example say if the next day is monday and i wanted to send it at for example 7 45 a.m so it will only get sent if the next day of when it's been subscribed is monday so let's say if they subscribe on tuesday it will keep waiting till the next monday and then it sends this thing at 7 45 a.m and then you can say save, save and exit so that might be sometimes pretty helpful specifically when you have some specific offers or campaigns or promos that are available during specific time of a day or specific dates and you want to make sure that your messaging is correct with the date and time that you have all right guys i hope you enjoyed this one please do make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel like this video and also tap on that bell icon so every time i post a new training you will get notified this will really help me if you subscribe to my channel and once again make sure that you have if you have any questions any suggestion or any type of training that you would like me to do for you make sure that you write it down i'm here to help you earn passive income online and learn how you can do that i also provide a one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, that you can sign up later in the at the end of the video please do make sure that if you need more help contact me and we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session for free and go from there thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye